I think what we both expressed was how isolating and how lonely it is to get this diagnosis and have this life path you imagine for yourself suddenly veer in a different direction. Uh, my diagnosis at age 17 was lupus. Um, I've actually subsequently developed a few other autoimmune diseases and that's very common. I have alopecia. I was diagnosed when I was 27. I'd never heard of it until like, my hair started falling out. I met Kate when we were both volunteering in the refugee crisis in Greece. So we didn't know what the other was going through, but it was only when we connected at the beginning of 2020 during lockdown and began to share the sort of impact these illnesses were having on our lives not the medical, but the social, the emotional, how it was affecting our friendships, our relationships, our sense of self, our relationship to our bodies. It was only then that I began to feel that I could actually talk to someone about what was happening. And that's the point really of the REN project, is to try to uh, make you feel less lonely, um, give you a space to talk about what it's like to live with an autoimmune disease completely on your own terms. Volunteers are integral to our model train them in active listening and understanding autoimmune diseases and the social impact and emotional impact they can have. Then when volunteers finish our training programme, they're paired with RENs. RENs are people who've been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and who are in a period of, of significant distress. They may have been recently diagnosed, they may have been diagnosed 20 years ago, but they're struggling to manage the impact it's having on their life. And what we do is we pair these RENs with a volunteer and we offer them six sessions of free one-to-one -one listening support, a space for them to really talk about what's going on and how their disease is impacting them. And so it's about helping people to feel better empowered and able to manage their condition, not kind of reach a cure or a finish point. We've uh, figured out that to support a REN for the first three months of listening support, it costs about 50 pounds. Um, building on that, we believe that supervision for volunteers is crucial because so much rests on the volunteers and the volunteers absorbing um, the stories of the people that they're supporting. Um, so monthly supervision to, and to support our volunteers costs about £100 a month. Both Alice and I were completely overwhelmed to hear that £14,000 might be coming to us um, and if that target is achieved it will make a tremendous difference. Um, we, uh, we're in the early stages, um, so we're in the trickiest period of our fundraising because all systems are going on the operational front, we've proved our concept and we're now really reaching REN applications, so they are come, they're flooding us. Um, we're getting about 15 a week, our waiting list is building. Um, so we have more and more and more demand for our service, uh, services. And they're coming from uh, almost everywhere, you know, NHS consultants, A&Es, but also Facebook and um, so, um, social media more generally. A boost in uh, money now uh, would allow us to really tackle that wait list and would help us ultimately to reach a lot more people. Um, our, our model and our forecast over the next five years is to double capacity and uh, £14,000 would um, allow us to, to really build towards that. And of course, what you all are doing and doing that massive epic challenge across Snowdonia is an amazing thing of volunteering, so we're so grateful for that.